fuck? Uh oh, back again. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? It's me, it's Anna, and today I've got another video for you guys. Today we have another baking video. Because apparently that's the only thing I do these days. Today we're going to make some traditional Dutch cake thingy. It's also a possibility that a lot of like Dutch people don't know this one. Um, if you go to the Schelling a lot, or if you live on Terschelling, you might know it. Um, it's called a uh, pondkoek, and it's it's delicious. I swear to God, I haven't had it in years because it's not gluten free, unfortunately. So today I decided to make it myself. So I looked up a recipe, and I'm gonna switch out the ingredients that are not gluten free with ingredients that are gluten free. So. That is what we will be doing today. Um, yeah, I have, I mean, I have two recipes because I was hoping that one of the recipes didn't need like two to three days, but I misread it and it does need two to three days. So this video is going to be filmed in two parts. Well, for me, for you, it's going to be one video, but for me, it's going to be two parts. Anyways, uh, yeah, the recipe takes around like two to three days. Um, we need to do like all the preparation right now, and then we need to let it rest for like two days. And then we can like put it in the oven. So, funsies. Over here, I have all the ingredients. The only thing I need to do now is weigh up some things, put it in a bowl, and mix everything together. Okay, what do we need? We need 500 grams flour, we need 250 grams of sugar, we need 100 grams of melted butter, 200 milliliters of milk, a pinch of salt, why do we always need salt? And 6 teaspoons of cookie spices and 1 teaspoon of baking powder. Um, this is, these are all the cookie spices we have, so I'm praying that this is enough, but with my luck, it's not gonna be enough, but we'll see. All right, so I think uh, this is a good height, so we're gonna go and weigh everything off. So I'm gonna grab a few bowls. Okay, 200 milliliters of milk. Okay, so it stopped recording somewhere and I don't know what it got, but um, we got 200 milliliters of milk. We got 250 grams of yellow sugar. I just call it light sugar. I really don't know what the difference is. Um, now we need 100 grams of melted butter and 500 grams of flour. But since I can't have flour because it contains gluten, um, I'm gonna use this like flour mix that is gluten free. Really don't know how to describe it, but it's gluten free, so yeah. Um, but first, we're gonna weigh off 100 grams of butter and then we're gonna melt it. So, okay. That's already 36 grams. Okay, we're almost there, just a little bit more. There we go. Well, it's 102. That's fine. That's fine. Ow. Um, and 500 grams of flour. Okay. 500 grams of this thing. There we are. Okay. Don't this anymore. Oh wait, I need to melt this. <clears throat> okay, I think the butter is good. I'm just gonna grab this to mix it because I feel like it. I don't know why, but. Sugar. That's, I swear to god, that's so much sugar. 250 grams. What the fuck? Melted butter, salt, 
So why salt? Um, the milk and we need the spices. We need six teaspoons of this ish, but I don't think that we have six. So that's gonna be fun. You know what? Just that's not even six. Doesn't even come close to six. Uh, and the milk. All right. Now we need to mix that. Okay, well, I think that this is good. It looks disgusting. Okay, we need to mix the flour with the baking powder. And then we need to throw that in here. One teaspoon of baking powder. All right, I'm gonna take off my rings. Okay. Ew. No, first I'm gonna start mixing it with this thing. And then I'll do it with my hands. Because the way it explains it in this recipe, it's supposed to be like a dough that you can just pick up, but this is what I got. I'm for sure there's something wrong, because this is not... This is not what's meant to happen. I'm so confused. Yeah, I'm just gonna put some tin foil over it, and I'm gonna put it in the fridge, and I think I'll see you guys in like two days. So, see ya. So, it's two days later. It's been chilling in the fridge for two days. Um, I haven't gotten it out yet because I need to preheat the oven to 175 degrees. And then um, we need to bake it for 40 minutes. But first I'm gonna preheat the oven and then I'm gonna get out the dough and we're gonna see how it turned out. And I hope it turned out well because if it didn't, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Right, so here we got the dough. I haven't looked at it yet, so I don't know what it looks like. So we're gonna take a look. Okay, it's it's kind it kind of got hard, but um, that can also be because it was in the fridge. <laughs> so now I need to figure out how in the world I'm gonna get this out. Oh my, is this smart? No. Oh my God, it's not coming out. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna throw this in the oven for 40 minutes. Then we're gonna have a hump of whatever. Okay, so it said that you need to like roll it into like a form, but can't really do that because this thing is just moving everywhere. It turned out okay. Um, I actually was supposed to like 
make two separate pieces, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. So I just made one big one and now I'm gonna throw it in the oven for like 40 minutes and then when it's done I'm gonna cut it in a few pieces and we'll see if it turned out okay. <laughs> and if it didn't, then we're just gonna try it again because it does work apparently, so that's good. So we're gonna throw it in for 40 minutes and we'll see how it turns out. <coughs> so it's been 40 minutes, so that means that it's done now. So I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put it on here and I'm just gonna let it rest for a bit before I take it off the plate and before I start cutting it. Right, so this is what we got going on right now. So far, so good. Um, it's also like baked in the middle. It's not soft, so that's good. Um, yeah, we're gonna let it cool down, cool off, whatever. Then we're gonna cut it and we're gonna taste it. Okay, it's kind of cooled down, but for some reason, it's very hard. I'm gonna cut it in half and then I'm gonna Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. Just. exactly get what we wanted this was the video i hope you guys liked it if you did give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and then you guys will see me in one of my next videos bye guys i can't reach it from this far we've been dancing for so long under the stars oh.